Okay, so first of all, I will type in a percentage. Then I'll do equals 1 minus that percentage in order to end up with two numbers that add up to 100%. Then I'll select those values and go to insert and I will insert a donut chart. Now I will delete the legend and also delete the title and change the size of the chart so that it is more of a square. Then I'll double click on the chart to open up the formatting bar and I will select the donut chart and then we can go to series options and now we can change the donut hole size so I can make it much smaller. And if I change this to 0%, then it's just a pie chart. And I can also make it much bigger. Then the donut explosion will just take the slices and move them slightly apart from each other. And then for the angle of the first slice, that's currently at 0 so that it is at the very top but I can change this to 90 degrees and now it's at the side and I can change this to 180 degrees to put it on the bottom and 270 degrees to put it on the other side and then 360 degrees to put it on the top and that is the same as zero degrees. Then I can also change the fill and the border. So I'll click off of the chart for a second and you'll be able to see that it has a gray border around the outside. And I can get rid of that by changing it to no line. And now the border has been removed. And in order to select just one part of the donut chart, I need to click on it once to select everything and then click on it a second time to select just the slice that I want. And now I can change the fill here and I will change it to a dark purple. Now because I have this slice selected, I only need to click once on the other slice in order to select that. Then I can change this to a grey so that it doesn't stand out as much as the main slice. I can also change it to no fill to just remove it completely. Or I can change it to a pattern fill. And I'll change the foreground color to be a dark purple, so it's the same as the main slice. And also increase the density of the dots. Then I can also change the border. So I'll click off of this once and then click back on it to select the whole of the donut chart. And then I can apply a border to all of it. So I'll make this black and then I'll make the line a bit thinner. And now we have a black border. I can also click twice on one of these slices and change it to no line, in which case just the main slice has a black border. And I can also change the fill here to no fill so that this slice has a border but has no fill. Or I can select the whole of the donut chart and remove the border from everything. Or I can double click on the main slice and then change the border here so that it is the same color as the fill. And then increase the width so that it is much thicker. And now it looks like it is overlapping with the other slice. Now I will select the chart and go to insert and insert a text box. And I'll click and drag to draw this text box in the middle of the chart. Then I'll go up to the formula bar and type equals and select this percentage here and enter. And now these numbers are linked together. So if I change this here, the number in the text box changes. And the reason that we select the chart before we make the text box is so that these shapes are now linked together. So I can move the chart and the text box will move with it. Now I'll format the text box. So I'll put the text in the middle and I'll make the font much bigger. And I will change the font color to be the same color as everything else and make it bold. 
And now I have my chart formatted the way I want it. So I can change the percentage here to be much smaller, or I can change it to be much bigger, and everything updates in order to match. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to format a donut chart in Excel, and that is everything.